welcome to another episode of Mega Hit Motorsports. And uh, today we're actually working on something a little bit different besides the cab oil. Uh, we just purchased this 1979 Peterbilt 379, 206 inch wheelbase. Uh, it's actually been updated with the Cummins Big Cam 4 and uh, 13 speed uh, Eaton Road Ranger 15213 transmission. Um, the rears have been updated as well. They, uh, the truck was actually shipped with Eaton 380, uh, DS380 rears, and these have been updated to Eaton DS404s, as you can see. They're actually hub pilot. Um, you can't see on this side, but um, these lug nuts are the old school, or the new school style lug nuts where you only have one nut on there, versus the old school stuff where you have a compound nut, inner and outer nut. So, newer rears, uh, brand new fifth wheel, um, lots of updated parts on here, all the suspension stuff's been updated, but lots of things that need um, fixing, like this missing U-bolt that should be right here, and the associated bracket on this one, it's actually here, but you can see it's broken right here, so we gotta get some of this stuff fixed. Uh, the airbags keep leaking down because of the leveling valve back here in the back, which needs to be replaced, it keeps leaking. Um, one of the shots that blew out on the way home, um, it actually had rubber in it before I left Delaware, but um, on the way back down the road, it's lost most of its rubber. This one's on its way, because you can see this rubber starting to come out of here pretty good, so. Um, yeah, we need uh, some new shocks on the back of here, possibly some new airbags, leveling valve, uh, a couple of suspension components, uh, new uh, mud flap fenders, quarter fenders, here, possibly half fenders, I'm thinking half, uh, maybe full, I don't know yet. Uh, new fuel tank, because new fuel tank cap, because the cap's broken, and it's, uh, the latch that goes through there is broken. Uh, get, get these cap, or get these lights off of here that were poorly put on here with really really bad wiring. You can't see it. Here we go. Let's let's tear into this real quick. See what kind of fuckery we got here. Oh yeah. More vampire clamps. Anytime I see vampire clamps on something I immediately start tearing everything off of it. So um, there's a there's a lot of them. There's more vampire clamps up here as well as some um, household wire nuts. We do not put wire nuts on vehicles that are exposed to weather love of god as well as extension cords might have used some extension cord on here wasn't the previous owner disclaimer um don you did a great job with the with the truck um the dingbat that had it after you um I, words can't describe it anyway um, we're just kind of going over the lights today getting some of this stuff fixed um i, I rewired the fenders fender lights on here um, put some nice loom on them straighten all the wiring out and actually put new wires in here it's got brand new wire uh, nice new loom. Put some new LEDs on the corner. These actually I stole off my parents' coach. I upgraded the lights on their uh, Integra and stole these off of there. So they're actually the same Peterbilt style light. Um, headlights need to be replaced. All four of these are looking pretty shoddy. So we get those replaced. Polish up the grill. New bumper on it. That's later down the road. But um, overall, I think it's going to make a pretty good work truck. And um, hopefully we'll be able to get some, uh, some good mileage out of it previous owner got about 4, 000, 4 million miles out of it so if we can get another four uh, I'll be pretty happy with that. So. so this is where it really pays to have a welder. Um, welder comes in handy when you do stuff like uh, you take the headlight bezel apart and one of the little uh, anchor points breaks off there so we just grab the TIG, uh, threw a drop of stainless on there, bada bing bada boom, we didn't have to go to the parts store. Yes. Buzzer for the hair still going off, but 
Everything in here is still in pretty mint condition for 1979. Headliner's still in great shape. Interior in the bunk is in excellent shape. I mean, just marvelous. No complaints there. Seats have been redone, but we're still sitting on anchor locks. So, oh yeah. Here's uh, some leftovers from the amp setup in here. Here's the amp power cables and antenna line in. A couple of jumpers that go back and forth between the amp and the uh, CB and mount for the speaker or for the uh, receiver and stuff. Yeah, super old school, time warp. It's actually a really, really nice truck. So uh, we're going to try to preserve the, uh, the interior looks of it as much as we can, as well as the exterior, but kind of update a couple of things. I was wanting to put some, some wood floors in here, but looking at this carpet, I think I may be able to take some uh, shampoo, shampoo the carpet really well, and uh, vacuum it out and, and uh, kind of get it to where I want it. So yeah, 